Today, I am here to share the journey that I embarked to save insects and promote awareness of insects in our ecosystems. My name is Anusha Vash. I am currently a sixth grader from New York. I am an insect garden who spends time learning and teaching others about insects. I started my journey at a young age of seven, captivated by a science project that led me to research on how these tiny, re resilient insects survive. Insects come in all different shapes and sizes. Some have spots, some have horns, some have wings. No matter what, they all fascinate me. Each insect plays an integral role in the environment as a pollinator or a natural cleaner. I knew that something had to be done, so I created my website, saveinsects.com. Insects are inspiring. They are able to conquer all the challenges that are thrown at them. Like, did you know that modern cockroaches evolved in the Cretaceous period alongside the mighty T-Rex? Or that it takes a honeybee 10 million trips just to produce one pound of honey? Did you know that only female mosquitoes bite? Or that monarch caterpillars only eat a unique flower called as milkweed? If there's no milkweed, there's no monarch butterflies. Over the years, I have spoken at many different places that include the United Nations Summit, the Westchester Board of Legislators, the American Museum of Natural History, and the New York Hall of Science. I have been on radio interviews as an environmental activist, and I have been invited on several news channels. My efforts have been recognized by the Awadon Society, and they have helped me earn the Green Medallion Award and the People of Nature Award. I have even competed against graduate students in a poster competition that was hosted by the ESA, or the Entomological Society of America. So why are insects actually important in the first place? Insects all play a crucial role in the environment. Some pollinate, some clean natural trash. The insects who pollinate provide food for all the animals that depend on it. Without the insects, many animals will go hungry and go extinct. Along with the plants, insects are also at the bottom of the food chain. To give an example, the common chicades need over 6,000 insects just to feed one clutch of baby chicades. All the animals that depend on birds will also go extinct. This will result in a chain reaction that will end up killing so many animals. I hope you are wondering how you can save insects. First, you have to know what is killing insects in the first place. Habitat loss and plastic are com minor compared to one thing, pesticides. Pesticides kills over one-eighth of the insect population annually. Many people use pesticides or other homicides excessively to get rid of insects. Even the people who only want to get rid of pests end up killing bees, butterflies, and many other helpful insects. The worst part is, is that some of this excess pe pesticides is getting into the river and killing all the life forms as it flows downstream. One way that you can save insects is on my other website, livinggreenways.com. You can make a living greenway itself. A living greenway is basically half flower garden and half rock garden. This helps support all the bees and butterflies while also supporting the ants and termites. This is also helpful because it can provide them with home and food. Let me tell you how you can make your own living greenway. First, start by planting a rainbow of native plants. Then, in the rock garden, try to scatter some leaves and rocks. Use a stick and dig little holes so that you can help ants who love to burrow underground. Then, if you want, you could build a small stone wall in the center, or if you have more space, you could build a small shelter midway between the flower garden and the rock garden to help cover all the insects with wings when it rains. Now, you have your own living greenway in the urban spaces. When you are maintaining your garden, try to avoid some things. Try not to use lawn blowers or leaf blowers. Definitely no pesticides should be allowed in the garden. Now you can help all of our future generations who can now grow up in a green and clean environment. 